Hello, everyone, and welcome to 2024. New year, new camera, new streaming feed, new everything. And this is a year full of so much new energy. If you haven't seen the 2024 feng shui yet, it's up on YouTube. I have it posted on Facebook. I have it posted everywhere. But this is such an important year. I highly recommend getting an overview of all the big themes because this year is empowering. It's about tangible manifesting, things you hold in your hand. <clears throat> this is about making big, huge breakthroughs by doing things in new ways completely. It's a new operating basis. It's new energy we haven't felt in our lifetimes. It's so very new that we're going to dive into five big, I don't want to say they're my predictions, but they're almost like my predictions, five big energy shifts that I strongly feel will be so helpful this year. They're helpful any year and any time, but this year specifically, I think they're going to be very helpful because this has a lot to do with developing new ways of moving through the day, new ways of moving through your home, new ways of even thinking about your environment, your community that are going to change everything in the best possible ways. So let's dive in because 2024 is a breakthrough year and I spelled that wrong. <laughs> so let's get started. So here we go. First, completely declutter the noise and extra street, extra screen time from your life. And I say that I'm stumbling to say that because screen time is my, it's my mountain to conquer. And maybe it's yours as well. Decluttering noise from your life is life-changing. And when I say noise, what I mean by noise is the things that are pulling you in different directions, whether it's the news, uh, conversations about things that get you worried or stressed, uh, different noise that's in life. Maybe it's reading a bunch of emails or reading a bunch of things, listening and watching videos that make you scared, all things that are noise that keep you out of this present moment, that get you to worry and look forward in worry or to think about the past in ways that are unproductive and leave you spiraling. This is a time to move forward. This year is an eight year. It's a year to manifest, to hold things in your hand, to feel more balanced as you do it. If your energy, which is your biggest commodity, all of feng shui has to do with energy. The reason why it works is because of energy. And if your energy is in the apocalypse or something else that's coming, if you get into that energy, how can you be here and make the most of this extraordinary time to be here right now, present? It's enormous. So completely declutter noise from your life. Think about what that means to you. What is your noise? I know what my screen time is, that part of it. What is your screen time? Where do you get lost on the internet? Where do you get uh, in a loop? Do you find yourself grabbing your phone or grabbing uh, an iPad or whatever it is, or sitting down and getting lost in social media, constantly having something to give you energy? A lot of times we do this for that very reason, to get energy from outside of ourselves. We need extra energy. And so we're pulling energy from videos and information and all kinds of entertainment that's to prop us up. And when you're pulling energy in in that way, again, it's going to take you out of yourself. This year is a year to be firmly within you. This, just to put it in context, if you haven't seen the 2024 feng shui yet, the age of Aquarius is starting. Pluto's going into Aquarius. Jupiter and Gemini, there's a huge conjunction of Jupiter and Uranus, which is so rare. That's going to bring massive innovation, <clears throat> all kinds of making things happen right now. Just beautiful, brilliant stuff that we haven't seen. Why waste it? Why waste it with all this screen time and all this stuff? So if you have a screen time thing, like I do, how can you let that go? How can you let go of some of that? And the best thing to think about 
is not quitting things, but rather shifting your energy towards something you enjoy more. So what are some hobbies, some pastimes, some things that you actually enjoy more? Maybe it's talking to friends. Maybe it's going for walks. Maybe it's uh, doing yoga. Maybe it's reading books. Maybe it's all of those things and more. This time is invaluable. Not everything you do needs to be productive. Please don't get me wrong. I don't think you're a robot or a machine and you need to be hyper-productive all day long. But I'm sure there are so many better things to do than just looking at a screen. And every time I quit screen time completely, my life changes rapidly. It takes like about a week and my brain is like reset. And that's just not practical or realistic with my life, with your life, with any of our lives. Technology is a part of our lives, whether we love it, hate it, or feel anywhere in between. And the key here is to learn to fill your life with so many things that are enriching and phenomenal and exciting books you want to read stack a bunch of books on your desk or keep them in your bag and read them instead of grabbing a screen this stuff will even if it's just a little bit less screen time a little bit less noise incrementally change everything for you big deal which brings me to the next one nervous system resetting how many of you have been focused on your nervous system feeling like I don't want to be anxious anymore. I don't want to be worried anymore. I don't want to be up at night anymore. I don't want to be moving too fast. I don't want to feel burned out. Like this is such a huge topic and it's been a huge topic for a while, but it's such a huge topic. It really started to inform how I work with feng shui, how I work with my clients, how I set up spaces. And this is something we're going to be really focused on in 2024. And how do you reset your nervous system? If it's flying out of control, if you've been way too amped up, what do you do? One big thing I recommend everyone try is decluttering, 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 decluttering. I know you might say, well, that's stressful. That's hard. That's emotional. What it is, is a great big release. If you need to let go of stress and tension. You want to let go of energy blocks and energy that's not moving in the most harmonious way through you. Your home is a mirror of you. As you start to get rid of those energy blocks around you, you open up to more flow, more freedom, a whole new groove. And it's something that you really can't establish any other way. Uh, yes, there are so many other practices we'll talk about throughout the year. Lots of things I'm going to try and document for you guys as I go. Um, there's a lot to be said about being in harmony. We're moving into, first of all, 2024. We all know there's a lot of things going on in the world in 2024. And there are a lot of ways that we can be sort of triggered and feel upset and outraged and all sorts of things for good reasons. But our nervous system is so important for our well being and for everything that you do. And so to optimize you first allows you to not just be upset or outraged, but to be able to have the energy and the creativity to do something about it, to adapt, to stretch, to grow, to make breakthroughs, to innovate. All of this starts by feeling really good within yourself. So declutter, declutter, declutter. The Catalyst Camp is open. Uh, we start tomorrow and it's so much fun to spend eight weeks doing feng shui decluttering together. If you want to join us, there's a link either below or above, depending on where you're watching this. Um, powerful to let things go. And in addition to all of that, relax. I know a lot of you, a lot of me, uh, almost everyone I know has been trained to feel that the only successful energy is action. And this is a year of action, but action is only powerful when it comes from a grounded, centered place. Have you ever been really spun out? Like you have so much going on and you're running around the house. And even though you're in action, you're in all kinds of action, you're not getting anything done. You're not getting anything done because you're just scattered. 
And when your nervous system is calm, when you are calm, when you feel grounded, everything's different. Every action you take is much more impactful and you don't have to do as much to get the results that you want. And that is what we love. <laughs> Planning is the most important time. Planning time is your most important time. How many of you have a plan, not just a list of goals or a list of dreams or a list of resolutions or anything else, but how many of you have an actual plan? That's what I'm curious about. You let me know in the comments. I don't have my plan yet. I'm making my plan now. Plans are magic. They organize your time. This year, the year of the dragon, is the year of becoming the CEO of your life. And you can't run a company without a plan. You can't have multiple people doing all sorts of action all day long in your business without a plan. It is just chaos. No one knows what to do. You have no idea what's going on. Your life is your corporation. Becoming the CEO of your life means planning. Planning is not restrictive. I used to think it was. Planning is not going to hold you back. One of the best things I've done is become obsessed with this thing. This is a passion planner. I am not paid by this company to talk about them. I just happen to love it. If I hold it up to the camera, I think it'll focus on it. There it goes. Uh, this guy is, I do everything. I plan everything. Everything is listed out. Everything I need is in there. It's so important to have some form of planning. Make a big plan for what you want. Break things down. That's what I'm going to be doing in the next week or two. But when we start the Catalyst Camp tomorrow, we're doing a great big feng shui vision board workshop. And a vision board, having a visual plan can be one fantastic, unbelievably powerful way to kick things off and make them spectacular. So you can create a vision board. You can join us and create a vision board together tomorrow if you're in the camp. Uh, we, When you have not just a vision, but then the steps to bring that vision to life, it's unstoppably powerful. So plan, 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 plan. If you don't, if you're don't like planning, if you're averse to planning, like I used to be, and you think that planning will make you less creative or planning will make you less spontaneous and make life less fun. I am here to tell you, I accomplished one 15th as much <laughs> in my life, maybe even more or less. I, I got nothing done as brilliant as my ideas could be, as much passion as I had, without a plan, I held myself back in the most dramatic, unbelievable ways. I still am shook at how much I was holding myself back by resisting them. This is something that I don't care if you make a vision board, I don't care if you make a list, plan, plan, plan. This is where you become the master strategist of your life plans start the creative process. Now, the other big thing about this year and all the themes and all the shifts and all the changes is that it's about innovation in all ways, including innovating in your home. So let's talk about a few things you can do. Innovation can take place in any way. You can innovate in your business. You can start offering new services, learning new things. This is a huge year to learn new skills, to become proficient at things, to master crafts, all of that. But innovating can take place in so many ways. So when you innovate at home, that can be deciding that you're going to start growing food at home and you set up a whole hydroponic system in your house or patio gardens outside or square foot gardens in your backyard or whatever it is, you're innovating. This is something new and fresh and moving you in a new direction. You can innovate in your home by rethinking how things are set up and organized. You can innovate by applying feng shui to your home. It is one of the most powerful manifesting methods that exists on the planet, and you can bring it right into your home and innovate in both your home and your life at the same time. Innovation means opening up to the new, and we're going to talk about the new even more in just a moment, but one big note, even though I started by saying, decrease your screen time. One thing about this year and actually the 20 years ahead with Pluto moving into Aquarius is not hiding your head in the sand when it comes to technology. 
you might not be a technologically savvy person. I might not be, but we all have to accept the fact that this is the direction that life is moving in some way, shape or form. And we don't have to fully participate in it, but you might innovate in the ways that you use technology to make your life and even your home better. Having a ring doorbell made my life so much better because now I have some sense of security when I'm not in my house. I can see what's going on in front of my house. Small thing, costs very little, huge innovation for me. What can you do to use perhaps technology to get more organized, to organize your finances, to organize your day? Uh, there are so many ways that you can positively use technology and it's not going away. I had said in the school when I was teaching last night in the Feng Shui school, I see driverless cars all around Los Angeles. If you've never seen one before, I almost passed out the first time I saw it. It took my breath away. I was so shook. And then I realized, okay, there's no stopping this. This is coming. And we can either fear things or we can find the best things about them and we can choose how we want to live on a daily basis. So you don't have to get into driverless cars. However, um, they are going to be there. And same thing with AI, same thing with all these technological breakthroughs. We can either resist them or we can use them to make our lives somewhat better and easier and free up more time. So stay open to all kinds of innovation. And the big note of this year is to go for the new. If I have one sort of oracle prediction <laughs> of this year, it's that the new, the new, the new is going to hit. And if you do things that you usually do, do them in new ways. Think of new energies to bring into them. When we're moving into a whole new energy, a whole new energy of 2024 and beyond, the new is the everything. Um, so if you want to do something in a new way that you've done before, you might rethink how you do it. You might come up with new ways, brainstorm how you're going to present things in new ways, even infuse new energy into the things that you do. Let's just say uh, at your job, you tend to do the same things. Maybe you reorganize the way that you work so that you're doing it in a new way. You have a different energy behind it, a different focus behind it. Look for ways to do something new every single day at any area of your life. Um, you might eat something new today, go somewhere new tomorrow, have a new experience. We want to bring in new energy across the boards. And when you're focused on those projects, you really want to move forward. Think about how can I do this in a new way? How can I add new energy to this? It's going to make such a huge difference in this year ahead. Again, the Kettles Camp here and we're starting tomorrow with the Vision Board Workshop and I just can't wait. Uh, you can join us now at the link either above or below and I cannot wait, cannot wait to get started. Um, I am checking the comments this year there is a new color it's clear clear the crap and paint a new life in front of you i 100 thousand percent agree absolutely using technology productively is a great way to use technology the only way and um it makes such a big difference um someone said i don't know how to plan properly and that's a really interesting thing so if you don't know how to plan if you feel averse to planning you have no idea how to plan anything start simple start with something that you have to do this week and just break it down into steps into you know basic steps you know okay first i have to do this then i have to do that then i have to do that that's easy um you might even want to just start with a vision like making a vision board when you're thinking about planning a year start the vision board and get a sense of all the things you're working toward. And that'll give you a really crisp, clear way to start uh, backtracking and planning to bring those things to life. Oftentimes we think when we make things like vision boards, that they're magic and they are, but that they're just magic and that you just put it on the board and it comes into your life. And sometimes that's what happens, but sometimes that's the first step in a series of actions to bring it to life. 
So I appreciate this comment. I think I'm going to make some videos this year coming soon about different ways of planning because that's another way of organizing the universe in your favor. Um, this is so awesome. I'm so excited. Uh, it's great to see all of you. Happy New Year to all of you. And um, if you have questions, comments, things coming up, uh, please always let me know. I'm really excited to be making different types of videos for you guys this year, really different stuff. And um, we have a whole different live stream vibe now that it's much more clear, hopefully for all of you and bright and uh, shiny. I'm super excited to give you everything I can that can be helpful to make the most of 2024 and beyond. So thank you guys so much for being here. If you're joining in the Catalyst Camp, I will see you tomorrow and, um, and or in the days and weeks and months to come. It's an eight week long program. So uh, we'll be spending the first two months of the year together, really two and a half months together. And um, it's the best. You guys are the best. Have a wonderful new year. Start and I will see you very soon. Bye.